Hi everybody, Armored Pants here and I have another video for you on in-game decision making and in this case particularly bad in-game decision making on my part. Um, uh, but I guess, and as we discussed this before, we probably learn more from our mistakes, or at least we should. Um, so probably by looking at games that we don't win, games where we make <laughs> mistakes, mistakes that we could have avoided. <laughs> maybe it will be better for us and we will learn more at least that's the that's the hope so let's see how it goes um this video as it always with these types of videos will be interactive so um i am going to uh, play the game and then we will stop at a key points in the game where key decisions need to be made i'll ask you to think about what you would do in that situation so i'm going to ask you to take a time out i'm going to ask you to hit pause um, and then we'll come back into gameplay and I'll explain what I did, why I did it, and in this case what I believe was wrong about it um, and how that contributed to losing the game. And the whole idea is that the more um, interactive aspect of these videos makes them more enjoyable, easier to use, but ultimately makes them easier for you guys to learn from and become better players. So this is a game um, in which I'm up to it, I'm playing in the Smasher. Uh, which is a tank which of course can hold its own even when it's up tiered. So I guess the first question as always is check the setup and what do we decide to do. So hit pause and I'll see you back and play in a few seconds. Welcome back. So um, I have checked the setup and I actually decide to go towards A because I'm thinking that um, our meds and um, probably could uh, clear that flank if they push on and um, and if they can clear the flank then maybe we have a good chance of winning the game plus because you're in the smasher you are most effective and um, against uh, weaker armor tanks right so therefore I decided to go towards A to see if I can bring that big gun to play and help my team and um, but of course and um, now the reds are spotted up and i see that it looks like the red mediums have actually pushed towards c so now it's the decision time so now that we've spotted up the red uh, red red mediums what do we do should we stick or should we twist uh, so hit pause have a think about it and i'll see you back in play welcome back guys well i decide to um push on but I'm actually going to try to engage the enemy by going towards um, B see if I can uh, get some cover at this rock here and put some shots across the map and um, not entirely sure if this was the right thing to do but really the poor decision making probably starts kind of maybe now and um, so uh, there's going to be a shot coming up here in the T26E4 so um, have a think about what you would do in this situation hit pause have a think about it and I'll see you back and play in a few seconds welcome back um, so I decided to take the shot on but I think that's my first poor decision is that I should have switched up to AP um, and the low roll I got on HE uh, means that I um, you know, didn't do as much damage as I could and that decision comes back to haunt me later as we'll see. Um, now um, I have a tank in front of me, I have tanks at the side so decision time again. Should I move, should I relocate, what should I do? So have a think about that guys um, and uh, hit pause and I'll see you back in play momentarily. Well, I kind of back off, try to get into cover. Um, I have a look at the minimap and I decide I'm gonna go and try to help my allies now at sea. Um, as I'm moving across though, uh, some other shots open up for me um, and um, I'm able to get a shot onto Lorraine and I'm able to clear him off on the way over, right? So at least I'm able to make some contribution and then I continue on my way towards um, sea. Now I have a choice, should I engage the T2064, the Super Pershion, or should I continue to go and try to help my ally with the uh, Type 62 Dragon. So hit pause, have a think about that, and I'll see you back and play presently.
welcome back guys well I decided to push on to see if I can um, help my ally I'm trying to save him I'm trying to keep his gun in the game so I'm going hell for leather and um, fortunately I don't make it in time and the dragon takes him out now I am able to clear off the dragon but I wasn't able to help my ally now I have a choice do I go to try to cap C do we go back to try to engage at T super perishing and um, it's decision time again so I'm gonna ask you to hit pause again take a quick time out have a think about it and then I'll see you back in play Welcome back. Well, those of you who've watched these other videos or watched the channel a lot will probably realize what I do. I go towards C, right? Because I'm going to try to cap. Um, and, you know, things don't look too too bad in the game right now. Um, I want to go, go and try to defend C. Um, probably, again, a wrong decision. I probably should have gone left and tried to support my allies. I didn't really think in the time we're in such a bad situation, but apparently we were. Um, because this game goes down to a 5v1 situation. Again, poor decision here. I tried to get a big roll into the back of the T32 where it's slightly armoured. Missed that shot. Um, and uh, not didn't miss the shot rather, but I just got a low roll on him again. If I'd taken AP, could have done a lot more damage. Again, guys, I make the same mistake again. Going for the big roll, trying to hit a really small target at the back of the Super Pershing. And again, I don't do enough damage on him. Um, and now I'm in a situation where it's now um, 5v1. <laughs> so it's decision time. Um, so have to think about what you would do in this situation. I know it's not a particularly good situation to be in. Um, but have a think about that. And um, hit pause, take a time out, and I'll see you back in play in a few moments. Well, yeah, I mean, that situation went really to shit really quickly, right? I mean, it was 5v4, 5v5, I think, at one point, and then it's 5v1, right? Um, I tried to uh, get into a defensive position by backing up here. I've got a T32 coming on to me. I've got the Super Pershing. I know it's probably going to come behind me. Plus, there's another uh, three tanks out there as well. I'm checking to make sure there's nothing behind me. I'm going to use the... Um, house here to put some space between me and t32 uh, but decision time again so i'm going to ask you to hit pause again and um, have a think about what you would do in this situation and um, i know i've put you guys in a terrible situation if you made better decisions you wouldn't be here and um, but have a think about it and i'll see you back in play in a few moments welcome back Um i mean i just decide to stick i you know i have a slow moving tank i can't really um go out uh, into the open I need to try to stay in cover see if I can get some lucky shots again poor decision there I probably should have gone with um, AP again into the side and now I have a 2v1 situation they're both coming on to me front on and um, I've only got 500 plus hit points left so now key decision time again so I'm going to ask you to take another time out hit pause and I'll see you back in play presently Well, I've played so badly up until now that, you know, the situation I'm in, my decisions are kind of making it themselves, right? I've no point ch choice but to run from the T32, try to get a shot um, onto uh, the Challenger, which I do, lucky, take him out. Um, and now I'm, for the moment anyway, I'm 1v1, right? Um, finally get a decent roll and a shot onto the T32, which I was trying to do earlier and uh, and also on the super pershing which is coming back into play now and fluffed them um, and now i have a super pershing so um decision time again so i'm gonna ask you to hit pause and i'll see you back momentarily So I go to engage him, right? I get a bounce off him. I'm in a decent position now. He also doesn't have such high pen numbers. Um, but guys, here, look at this. A really bad decision again. Really poor uh, shell management. Sh again, should have gone for AP. But I was so afraid of it and uh, not penning that I thought I would be able to get him with um, HE. Um, and I didn't, right? So I got a low roll on the HE as well. And that required me to take two shots. Now, 
here's the thing um, if I had um, taken them in one shot I would have had an extra 15 seconds to get into position to take on the two remaining tanks so again poor poor play and decision making from me um, but now we're going to ask you to hit pause again um, and uh, as the, we have the two tanks coming onto us now and uh, decide what would you do now in this situation and I will see you back in play presently welcome back well um, I have the KV4 coming onto me now I didn't really get into a position or a chance to get into a position to do anything because I took that extra 15 seconds to clear him off so that poor decision allowed me to allow the KV to come up on me um, and I had to push onto him then uh, to try to get a shot I needed to ammo rack him because the other guy was coming to the other side of me so those poor decisions ultimately led to me uh, losing that game um, and a game that I could have won if I had made better decisions early on so even experienced players like me you know I've played now I don't know how many but 150,000 plus maybe 175,000 games even I'm making poor decisions still making poor decisions in game right and um, and what was really frustrating about that game was, I mean, for, as frustrating as I get, right, you know, I'm pretty zen about the whole thing, and I know you need to lose. But what was frustrating about it was that I knew I could have won that game, particularly if I'd made better shell selection and shot selection earlier on in the game. I wouldn't have been left 5v1, I'd probably been only left 3v1, and a much easier situation to manage than 5v1, right? Um, and then, even with all those poor decisions, if I'd made a better decision, um, on um, with the shell, with the shell, shell shell selection on the super pershing, I still might have had a chance. But there we go. Uh, we can't always make the right decisions, and I hope that by analysing my poor decisions and my poor play in that game, um, it's going to be helpful for you. That you guys will be able to analyse that to make better decisions, become better players, and that's what these videos are all about. So cheers, much. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. And I know, I guess, all remains for me to say is, pants off. That's all, folks.